DAI is a stable coin that is soft pegged to the dollar one to one and it is backed by cryptocurrency. This is different than other stable coins such as USDC or USDT which are backed by dollars held by a centralized party therefore making them centralized stable coins. But when it comes to DAI if it is backed by cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency is decentralized then this would mean that DAI is decentralized. Well not exactly. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. To understand what DAI is today, we need to go back to the very beginning. In the beginning, it was known as SAI, single collateral DAI, and it was only backed by one asset, that is Ethereum. So users would deposit their Ethereum and it would generate DAI. But then on November 18th, 2019, MakerDAO introduced DAI, multi collateral DAI. So instead of users just depositing Ethereum to create DAI, they can also deposit other cryptocurrencies as well. And if we look at today's maker vaults, which create DAI, we can see there are many different assets that can be used to generate DAI. And when depositing cryptocurrency, there will be a minimum collateral ratio. This is how much DAI can be generated from the cryptocurrency that is deposited because we're dealing with very volatile assets, right? If we have an asset backing a stable coin, but the assets are very volatile, it's gonna ruin the whole entire system. So an algorithm is set in place that if a cryptocurrency reaches a certain level or crashes to a certain level, the funds backing it will have to be liquidated or sold off. For example, if we look at basic attention token, it has a collateral ratio of 150%. So if we go to this vault and we want to deposit 100 DAT, it shows us over here that we can generate 39 DAI max, right? So if we do 39 DAI, collateral, collateralization ratio of 150%. But if we want to generate 100 DAI, we are gonna be way below it, right? The key here, or not the key, but what a person wants is to have a big cushion for their collateralization ratio. So instead of taking out the max of 39, let's say it only generates 10 DAI, 588% is the collateralization ratio. Because remember, if a cryptocurrency backing a stable coin crashes too low and we go below our collateralization ratio, we will be liquidated. Our crypto will be sold off. And also there is a penalty liquidation fee of 13%. So if you're Understanding so far what's going on, you probably would assume that this system could be very tricky, right? Because we have all these cryptocurrencies that are going up or down and things can get really messy. And if we look at the history of DAI, it should be worth $1, maybe 99 cents at some times, maybe a dollar and one cent. But it did have a rough history. Earlier on, it has gone above a dollar seven and it has gone below 97, 96 cents. This is not what we want. We want it to be a little more stable. We can see that over the last year, it has been more stable at about a dollar, maybe at a dollar one cent or maybe at 99 cent, but it's right within the range. And something very problematic happened in the past. For those of you that were around in March of 2020, you'll remember Black Thursday where Bitcoin, Ethereum and the whole market crashed significantly in a very short period of time. And as a result, 8.32 million was liquidated from maker vaults. Remember what we said, this is a stable coin backed by an asset that is very volatile. And to make sure the system runs smoothly, positions need to be sold off or liquidated if the collateral backing die crashes too hard. And as a result, MakerDAO users sued the stablecoin issuer following Black Thursday losses claiming that the Maker Foundation intentionally misrepresented the risk associated with CDP ownership, resulting in the loss of 8.32 million in investors' money on Black Thursday. And as a response to this, MakerDAO added USDC as DeFi collateral following the Black Thursday chaos. And the reason that they did this is to add more stability to DAI, because if DAI was back, by cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency was super volatile, it can create problems as we saw on Black Thursday. With USDC, it is usually a dollar, maybe 99 cents, maybe a dollar and one cents, but for the most part, it is at around $1. So if you have a stable asset backing DAI, then DAI would be more stable. And of course, this caused many people to get very, very upset. Why? Because we just took a coin or a stable coin that was decentralized 
and now we're adding a feature of centralization to it. USDC is a centralized stablecoin. But even though many people were upset, they thought, you know what? It's still mostly backed by cryptocurrency. There's a little bit of USDC in there. It's not a problem, it's still going to work. Now, what I'm about to show you right now is extremely shocking. When it comes to DAI today, in July of 2021, more than 50% of DAI is backed by USDC. This is, I mean, kind of funny as well, right? DAI is supposed to be a totally decentralized stablecoin, but more than half of it relies on USDC, a centralized stablecoin. And I don't have a huge problem with USDC. I like USDC. I own USDC. I have some earning interest, but it is problematic. And DAI itself cannot be frozen, but USDC, which backs DAI, can be frozen. As we have seen in the past, Circle has blacklisted and frozen USDC at law enforcement's request. And when it comes to USDC, of course, this is way more centralized than DAI, even though, you know, DAI is it decentralized? I mean, I would say not 100%, but it is more decentralized than something like USDC. But I don't have a huge problem with USDC, as I mentioned. And I did make a video comparing USDT Tether to USDC. So if you want to watch that video, go ahead and click the link right above. Link is also in the description below. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Is DAI decentralized? Is it half and half? Would you use DAI? Would you rather use USDC over DAI? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.